everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete Ender All Forgotten Stories. In the last episode, we continued exploring that crypt, which took a, <laughs> a long time. Hopefully we have gotten everything there now, although I would not bet on it, like I said. So, I have indeed, I've sold all of our stuff, made a whole lot of potions, sold them, kept some of them. But I also managed to find some actual learning books. So, what we are going to do is, we're going to eat them. <laughs> Why do they make them consumable? It's so funny. So, we have eight light armor books and eight adept uh, one-handed books as well. So we should be able to eat all of these, but we'll just, we'll start with one hand because that's more important. So let's just nom 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 them all up. <laughs> and we'll also eat all the light armor ones we have. Perfect. Um, we also got a level up, which means that we have some crafting points. So, we will also eat, can we use adept enchantment? We can. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Uh, now, how many do we have left? We've got two crafting points, at, wow, and 19 learning points. Yeah, we just just need to find books, man. Uh, but we also, we have two learning points, as, um, or memory points, rather, as well, which we will use. However, we are going to be going to Foamville to, fi to find Milbert. <laughs> I'm sure he's, listen, I know we spent a whole lot of time exploring the crypt, but I, he'll be fine, okay? He'll be fine. But there is a, there's a Myrad Tower here, so instead of walking all the way there, we'll just go to the Myrad Tower, which means we need to find the Myrad Tower. <laughs> <laughs> in Ark in order to get there. So let's just use a uh, signpost Mark over West. here. I'm so glad that they added this in. Uh, Myrad Tower. There we go. Southern Quarter Myrad Tower. I don't care which Myrad Tower it is because there's two as long as we get to one. So I think there is two of them anyway. Unless I'm just losing huh? my marbles. I okay, I thought she was running at me, but no, is it up here? Yes, I think so. So yeah, I think we will uh, We'll go and do this and then we'll kind of like make, a, make our leisurely way back. And explore on the way back. I think that's the best thing. And I also would like to, um, I'd like to use that scroll to a strange place that so we found as well. Yes, but I want to, we should go and find Milbert first. I think that's uh, <laughs> quite important. Walk blessed, friend. Where are you headed? I need, oh, actually, hang on. Where, where are we headed? <laughs> Western Cliff. Okay, good job I checked. Good evening. I need a flight. Sure. Where to? To the Western Cliff. Perfect, thank you so much, sir. I love I love this animation. It's just the dragon riding. <laughs> it's so cool. I love these creatures. They're also really cool. It's like a a, a goat dragon, which is just super cool. Like a goat bird dragon. I don't know. I wonder. Like I wonder if they're based on something in like real world mythology. Uh, if so, I am not sure. There's a lot of half goat goats things in mythology, but yeah. Anyway, hi. Thank you so much for the ride, buddy. So we are now. In a new area of the map, the Western Cliff. Um, so we can only hope that we're not going to get absolutely smacked, <laughs> which is always a possibility whenever we leave the Sun Coast or the Heartlands. Already. So, oh, oh my, how the time flies by. Oh, okay, that's just hit. I thought, <laughs> thought it was an enemy already. So we do have we have a very uh, interesting looking castle there, but I think that will get us killed. So, yeah, man. Okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. <laughs> Because as we've seen, oh, okay, that's a bear. That's a bear. We're going to avoid the bear. I do not want to tussle with the bear. Absolutely not. Especially one that's outside of the Sun Coast and the regions that we know that are acceptable for us to wander through. So we're going to be very cautious here. Very, very cautious. In fact, we should actually uh, re-equip our weapons. That would be helpful. Okay, anything? Is this anything interesting? You got anything interesting going on here? Any any, any treasure? No, just like a, a, just a cage thing. And what, a rocking horse? How very strange. I'm very into Oh my god, look at that. That's a massive gargoyle up there. I'm very interested as to what this is, but <laughs> I'm also very scared. I think we're gonna okay, that's ooh. Yeah, those are big boy wolves rather than the deer stalker, I think. And are they trying to get to me? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm very afraid of everything here, because yeah, if the um if it you know, all of our other ventures outside of the starting areas or anything to go by, this is not gonna go very well. <laughs> But you never, you never know. I don't know. It, it might go a little bit better. I also don't want to use whirlwind right now because, like I said, I think we're gonna. Be oh, okay. We got a oh, vagrant. Interesting. Okay, let's go on. Bait out attack. Oh, lovely. Okay. Are we got? Oh, are there? Oh, okay. I was gonna say are the wolves on yeah. my side. No, the wolves are not on my side. Oh, okay. That that's you know that's promising damage. That is promising damage indeed. I can I can work with that, guys. Are we actually okay? I know I don't want to speak too soon, but we might actually be okay. Fine steel shield, yeah, I'll be taking that. 
Uh, steel Cures, yes. You can keep the steel. Uh, actually, you might be able to enchant that and use that, and I'll take the salt as well. Okay, well, you know what? Since I'm feeling a little bit more ballsy now, Cliff Camp discovered. Hi, who else have we got here? Just another, another vagrant. Interesting. Oh, you yep. big... I do mean business. Thank you so much for recognizing that. Okay, I'm feeling a little better now. Firm leather arm protector. Nah. Uh, human flesh. Why do you have that, sir? <laughs> Concerning things I have. An oak bow. I'll take that. Yeah, you can keep the rest of your trash. Okay, looks like it looks like this place is not too difficult. <laughs> Touch wood. I will take that blueprint. We will also unlock this chest and steal this guy's stuff. They won't be needing it anymore. Absolutely not. Trust me, they won't be needing it. And I was going to uh, talk about their afterlife, but I don't, I don't know where they go in Ender. I was going to say Sovereign Guard, but that's obviously not correct. <laughs> whole load of stuff in there. Ooh, some cabbage stew. That's an inch. Ooh, a cook pot, actually. We might actually want to use that, although I'm not sure if we really have much to cook with, and we also need a lot of salt to cook with, I think, so I don't know if we can, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Also, our lockpicks are kind of... I'm getting a, a little bit low on lockpicks for my comfort level, so... <laughs> Ooh, 38 coins, though. Okay, yeah, can we... You, well, of course we can use the cooking pot, but is it useful? Uh, no, it is not. <laughs> we can make nothing, so that's fantastic. Moving on. Uh, and actually, I think we're going to sleep because yeah, it's getting late. And I would like it to be daytime <laughs> while we're walking around so that we can see where we're going. Because as previously discussed, Enderol is an incredibly dark game for some reason. They, which, I mean, it makes sense, obviously. <laughs> realistically when you're walking around at night time or in a crypt or something everything would be very dark because that's how it works <laughs> if there is no light source you cannot see and it wouldn't make sense for there to be a light source so I, I understand but at the same time it's also a video game and I'm trying to have fun and it's not so fun if you can't see what you're doing but hey I understand so it looks like what we're looking for is right down below oh so it's so much stuff here I want to look at everything oh okay who we got here wow you guys saw me a mile away whoa okay we're shooting fire at <laughs> Listen, this is not how you greet a guest. Okay, just a wild mage, man. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, you, oh you're you a fucking piece of shit. Listen, I'm gonna, yeah, I have to deal with you first. Okay, yeah, man. They have done a lot of damage to me. Now, this guy is using shock and fire. So, shock resistant. <laughs> but you didn't think I'd have that. Also, fire resistance, because I made some of those. Use a health potion, cheat. And, screw you, man. Screw you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what he was going to say there. I'm going to take your staff, though, just so you know. Well, where did your staff go? I want your staff. I'm going to take it anyway. Trust me. You don't have any. Staff of grounding. Lightning does five points of shock damage. Nice. Okay. Oh, and a magic infused rope as well. Excellent. You can keep your boots, though, now. Is there, yeah, someone else here. Man, they, they really saw me from a long way away, didn't they? Well, you know, good on you, I suppose. Common soul gems, some coins, more soul gems, more magic infused... Oh, okay, I didn't want a dagger, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, hello. Who else have we got? Who else we got? No one? Well, there's someone up there, but I don't know where they are or who, who they are or what they want. So, hey, I suppose we'll loot these. Hope maybe they'll come down to us because, I don't know, it might be an animal. Given Whoa! Okay, not an animal. <laughs> Definitely not an animal. Where, where are you, buddy? I can't even see you. I can't kill you if I can't see you, okay? Where are you? All I can see is this red dot on my map and that's it. Which is not helpful. Oh, there we go. Hi. What was that? Uh, right house of the Western Cliff. Cool, cool. There we go. Thank you so much. Gold ruby circlet magic imbued robe. Excellent. Thank you so much. And now I'm also going to ha have a little snack. You know, I think we've deserved it. Uh, cabbage. Yeah, we'll eat that cabbage soup that we just picked up. Okay, anything up here? Ooh, a big chest. Hell yeah, or a massive chest. It is massive, to be fair. Uh, yeah, we really need to... Um, I've kind of been lackadaisical with the lockpicking because usually you know in Skyrim you pick up like 15,000 lockpicks <laughs> it's not a problem uh but yeah you don't really do that in Enderol so you need to be more careful we've got some blueprints soul gem coins or hell yeah potions and salt perfect hell yeah this is <laughs> man I'm so glad that we actually do some damage in this area of the map <laughs> I was so worried that as soon as we set foot here we were just going to immediately get smacked just like we did in the other two places uh, but no, it seems like we are okay in this area. Although the mages did do a bit of damage. We already... Oh, we did not search this one. Iron ingots, uh, lockpicks, scrolls, and spare parts. Perfect. We've got a summon mud elemental. I think we already know that. And a mentalism book. Which we'll take anyway, I suppose. Ooh, scroll of soul trap. Nice. And another chest. This one's a smaller chest. That's okay. Got Just got some potions and a bed. Don't need another bed, though. Okay. Well, that's like everything here. Although, was that, was that some flowers? Oh, the, well, it was flowers, but we can't we can't pick them. But there is an ice core here. Perfect. Now we can increase our carry weight even more, which... I mean, does carry weight increase with our stamina? 
increasing? I don't even know <laughs> in this game. But anyway, let's make our way down the cl uh, the cliff. No, it's, it's not a cliff. It's a cliff. Okay, so this <laughs> looks like what we're looking for. So we've got a cave and also a... Well, it's a shack, but yeah, it looks like the ruins of Sea Chasm. Okay, well, we'll check that out in a minute. But for now, first of all, we've got some some mud crabs to deal with. So, oh man, I'm so I'm so glad we actually do some damage to these guys. I was so so worried. We've got some seagulls. So, M Milbert, are you my man? Are you are you okay? Ruin of Foamville. So yeah, this is where they the, the two grew up, I suppose. Hello. No. Now you listen to me. I am sick of your. Excuse me while I just make a save. Fucking lies. Sick of you pretending to give a shit about me whenever it's convenient. Sending a cell sword after me. Really, Milbert? How low can you go? How low can you go? But... By Malthus! You! Please, you have to help me! She's completely lost her mind! It's the dust! She's... She's not herself! Now look at that. The pet returns. How'd you find us, huh? Used your wit and connected the dots? Great fucking job. But you know what? It's too late now. You won't save him. Or maybe you will. But only over my dead body. I have nothing to lose anymore. <laughs> Not that I ever had much to begin with. I agree with you there. Okay, so I think we want to try and talk her down. So, this is madness. Killing him won't change anything. I can't let you do that. Put that weapon down. I mean, she's not really holding a weapon, but okay. Save the sweat. I'm not going to stop you. Ooh, no. No, we don't. No, we don't want to kill Milba. That's, no. Why the blazes are you doing this? Is this about the money? You are completely drugged. That's not going <laughs> to... That's probably not going to help. Wait. Why the blazes are you doing this? Is this about the money? Fuck the money! I've told you how he treated me since those raiders came for us. Yes, he pays for my room, but do you think he ever came to me in all those years? Or asked me how I was? Fuck it. I'm a goddamn mess, and I know it. But it's his fault because he was never there for me. Not when our parents died. Not when the dust took me. Never! Before he sent you to get the key, he asked me himself. And that... That was the first time I'd seen him in years. But no. This wasn't about me. This was about his goddamn business and the money father left for the two of us. He wanted it for himself. Just like he always has. This is mad, Celia. Your family. Killing him won't change anything. Oh. Believe me, it will. I'd do it just to see that fucking smile wiped off his face. Okay, she's not really, really not accepting anything here. You're completely drugged, Celia, and you're about to make one heck of a mistake. Am I? <laughs> well, it doesn't feel like that. If it's the fucking dust, then I guess I should be grateful. I... <laughs> do I just have to run through all the options? I can't let you do that. Put that weapon down. Now. Make me. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess we have to kill her then. Unless we want to, you know, kill Milbert and get the money from her. But I think we're going to get more money from Milbert, so. <laughs> My Malthus. She, she's dead. I, oh gods, how did this happen? The key, quick, get me out of here. Okay, if you attack me, though, I will kill you as well. We've got cage key, coins, ooh, three glimmer dust, interesting. Uh, and just a whole load of trash. Yeah, I don't really know how you <laughs> expected to best me, by the way. Just gonna dump you in the, in, in the water there. It has to be done, okay? It has to be done. Okay, Milba, I'm here to save you. Sorry about this, but, you know, it is what it is. Hi. Uh, thank, thank you. By the name of the sun, this, the drugs did this to her. This goddamn dust... Was it true, though, that you never cared about her? Wh what? No, she rationalizes. Ever since she took her first sniff, she has changed and started to blame me for all her misery. Why do you sound offensive, then? <sighs> Believe me, my friend, I did try. But the more I wanted to help her, the more she started to push me away. What happened to our family? 
It broke us both. Only that I managed to get back up again, and she didn't. I guess that's what it adds up to. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really know who to believe, but she does sound a little bit like she is very much trying to rationalize her own descent. But, you know, you can't help people if they don't want to be helped. So it was kind of a lost cause from the beginning, Milbert, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so what now? Give me money. <laughs> Good question. I, I suppose at first you get your reward. Without you, I wouldn't be alive now. Here, you can take this key. It's to another slot in the bank's treasury. You can take whatever's in there. I owe you this, at least. And while I feel ridiculous to bring that up now, I promised you another book, didn't I? Which, which one do you want? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we're clearly one-handed. Fine, here. What level now, is it going to be, give though? me some time, will you? Celia, she was... She was a shadow of herself, but she was still my sister. I... I want to say goodbye properly. Uh, well, you'll, um, you have to hurry up because she's kind of being washed out to sea right now, but okay. That's it. A book and a key for saving your life. Yeah, the book's actually useless because it's Apprentice and we already have, you know, Adept one-handed, so that is useless. The key is not, but you know. And she called me greedy. Yeah, that's about all I can spare. Now go. Hell uh, yeah! You, Another 75 coins! I didn't expect that to pass. I, I need some time for myself. Is it? Oh, I thought that was an emerald, but no, it's just green. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you can have some time for yourself. I am just going to take everything your family left behind, just so you know. <laughs> you don't mind, though, do you? Listen, you already vacated the place. You don't need it. Ooh, look at that. Seven coins in there. She should just come back to her own home, because, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff here still. But hey, there we go. She, is he actually going to... Yeah, no, see, he's actually not saying goodbye to her. Where, where's her body gone? Wasn't it? We dumped it right... What the hell? Where... Did she actually get washed out to sea? I have no idea. Maybe it just despawns as soon as the quest finishes? That is kind of creepy, to be perfectly honest. Also, what the hell... Is it? Is this like... Are, are these their parents? That are strung up? Because if so, that is really dark. <laughs> really, really dark. Oh, What's that? Is that the level up sound? I thought it was a level up sound, but no level up. I don't know. Anyway, let's search this place, and then we do need to go into the level up realm so that we can apply some of our memory points we have two to spare uh oh okay learning book entropy adept okay don't really need don't need entropy and yeah that that book he gave us is completely useless because it is apprentice look all these books just piled she's got a whole load of corpses as well eh lovely seriously where did her body go that's so so creepy <laughs> okay well i see an ice claw over here and yeah i guess milbert's just gonna walk his way back to arc now so Hopefully you're okay with that. Um, and he lit. Oh, where even is he? I don't even know. What is that over there? Is that? Oh, it's just a tent. I think there's a campsite. Okay. Well, anything else here, or shall we just? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to the memory realm, which I'm actually. How do I do that? I'm literally forgetting how to do that. <laughs> how do I go to the memory realm? Um. Is it? T. No, not rest. Uh, y. Yes, there we go. Oh man, like I said, it's been it's been a little while since I've uh, played this game. Okay, so here we are. Now, what were we... Yeah, we were going up here, so... Okay, we decided these were pretty much useless, didn't we? Sprint thrust, yeah, no, don't, we don't do power attack. Bypass defenses, critical hits, useless, yeah, no, critical hits. So. No, back. Vortex. Uh, oh, no, two... Oh, attacks with two one-handed weapons of 15%. But, okay, so that's dual wielding. That, okay, that would actually be really useful. Yeah. Yes. Unlock. We're definitely going to unlock that. Perfect. Uh, okay, now is this a... Yeah, see, this is a power. 15% increased attacking and moving speed. 35% decreased blocking. So, uh, yeah, it's a power, though. And I don't really use powers that much. So, yeah, I think we want to go back over here. So, we have poison cloak. Brood poisons. Okay, we don't really use poison. Sensitive tongue. Consuming an ingredient reveals more of their alchemy effects from now on. That could be useful. But maybe not quite yet. Experimenter. Potions which is applied to your weapon stay in effect twice as long. You can also now create Ambrosia at Spectralizing Table. I don't know what a Spectralizing Table is. <laughs> uh, we have Starling, Spider... Oh yeah, I remember that. Again, that's a power though, so meh. Snake Blood. As long as your stamina is more than half filled, your poison resistance increased by 40%, and the armor rating of Light Armor by 5%. That could be... 
kind of useful. Wearing solar light armor, there's a chance of 10% of the damage of melee attacks completely intercepted. I think we're going to get that one. High dexterity. Nice. Yeah, we're like at the top of this uh, thing now. And we kind of avoided some of them. But yeah, there we go. So, yes, we have, yeah, no memory points left over. And we still have... Man, we really just need to find some... <laughs> Find some goddamn um, learning books, but yeah, people don't sell. Not everyone sells them, or at least not the ones that we want. Like everyone seems to sell, like you know, marksman and sneak, but no one, no one sells it. I guess I don't know. Like, does everyone go stealth archer in Enderal? Maybe. I mean, it, it's a you know one of the best builds, I suppose. So it makes sense that a lot of people would want to do it, but I guess that's maybe one of the most viable builds. I don't know. So while we are here, let's explore. So we do have that cave to explore, but I kind of want to go out here and then kind of work my way back in, you know, go, go, that makes sense, go the furthest, furthest out you can go and then work your way back. Um, we'll kind of walk our way back to Ark <laughs> by exploring all the locations that are here, because yeah, we still need some level ups. And thankfully, it looks like this le this area of the map is in fact doable at this level. Uh, unlike, <laughs> unlike what, what was it called? Fog, Foghorn or something? <laughs> I forget. Oh, look at that. That's Ark over there. Oh, we're actually not very far away from it. Interesting. So I see... A lost one, excuse me, can I, huh? Can I not get stuck on the rock? Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so our attack should be faster now. Hi, awoken lost one? Is that faster? I don't even know. Is it? Can you, can you do a double power attack? Yeah, I think that is, I think that is faster, which is pretty cool. Okay, who else we got here? Old smuggler retreat discovered. Cool, that's not the attack I wanted to do. Why does it do that? I must just be, I don't know, like not holding down for long enough. Who knows? Anyway, let's, okay, I didn't actually want to take that helmet but whatever uh, i will take the coins however uh and also take the bow meal perfect what is this just like is this supposed to be the the, the glimmer dust or something <laughs> i don't know which yeah unfortunately drove cilia over the edge we have a corpse old rune arrow ravener egg cool Ooh, rune dagger yeah i'll take that it may be worth at some point uh upgrading our mace uh because of course it's you know it's really powerful with our uh, what does it do exactly it has yeah, so it does both um, shock shock damage and soul trap, which is obviously a dual enchantment, which I don't know if you can ever do in Enderall, at least make your own, uh, which of course you can in Skyrim, but you have to get maxed out. Um... Ooh, Leather Shoes the Elemental, it's nice, you have to get maxed, oh really, that jewelry box is empty, that sucks, you have to get maxed out uh, enchanting for that, so I don't know if that's something you can ever do in Enderall, but yeah, anyway, anything, anything else here, or is this literally just like a little... Little, little location here and there's no inside bit to it. Anything in the harbour or at all? I see a chest in this sh ship down here. But yeah, it might be, it's it's only like a steel mace though. Um, so it might be worth upgrading to like a, a rune mace or something if we can find one or we might have to buy one actually. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But let's have a look around this island before we leave because this is well, it's the only location uh, on this island but there may well be other stuff, unmarked stuff. There's quite a lot of unmarked stuff in Enderal which you know, I'm not really going to count that as like, you know, I've got to do everything in it. Also, I just want to, yeah, so this is just the one island. Just checking that we're not going to cross over into that territory, which is <laughs> hard, just like everything else in this game. Is this, okay, I thought that was all, but never mind, it is not. Is there anything else interesting on this island? I mean, can we even get up? Is there, is there any way to get up into the center? Surely there must be, right? We can summon Whirlwind, the donkey. <laughs> But I don't know if that will help us here, because this really is quite steep. Oh, we might be able to make it up that with well. Ooh, a chest. See, this is why I checked. 50. Oh, hell yeah. We got 54 coins. You found an additional three from our lockpicking skill, apparently. Nice. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think I think we can just straight up scale this. I think. Hopefully, we should be able to. Come on. Jump, Valia. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sometimes it just it takes a little bit of perseverance. Okay, we just got a, a tree. Not really a great place to grow, if you ask me, but each to their own, I suppose. Yeah, just a whole load of trees growing in the rocks. This is literally just a whole island full of rocks. <laughs> Nothing else to it, eh? Might be. Can we... Ooh, can we... This is a little bit more difficult. Can we get up here? Come on, if, if there's a will, there's a way. You usually can. Let's put our weapons away so that we can jump better. I don't know if you can actually jump better this way, but I'm, I'm going to pretend that you can. <laughs> Can we? No, I think we might need whirlwind for this. Yeah, let's get whirlwind. So get a horse flute. Oh, hi. I I didn't actually use it. I just activated it, which is weird. But okay. Can you? Okay. Now this is the really annoying thing. Why does it do this? It like won't let you turn properly sometimes on the horses. But oh well, we figured it out. So up here. Oh, what are you doing, whirlwind? Yeah, I I think that that's an appropriate reaction. <laughs> 
Can you, come on, can you just get up? Get up, get up the cliff. It shouldn't be too hard. Is there anything interesting up here at all? Or are we just wasting our time? I think we're probably just wasting our time. Okay, yeah, nothing nothing interesting up here at all. But thank you anyway, Whirlwind. Uh, I wanted to check. Can I really not get over here? Okay, well, let's slip around. I want to see if there's anything interesting down here at this tree. It looks kind of interesting. No, and um, also, please don't tell me I'm stuck down here. Oh, God, I might actually be stuck down here. <laughs> no, please. No, don't. Don't. don't no. Oh, to... <laughs> I should have thought about that. Whirlwind. Whirlwind, can you... Can you can you get down here? Can you? Your mount was summoned. Where? Where was he summoned? I cut. Whirlwind. <laughs> Please, my friend. Do, oh, oh. Can I? Can I get out? Can I? I'm like stuck. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like when you, when you kind of you try and jump and it's just you're, you're just completely stuck. Like you can't. You, the jump button just ceases to work sometimes, and you have to kind of slip down to a different level in order for it to work. Where is Whirlwind? By the way, it says he was summoned, but he was not. Or at least if he was, he was summoned, like, in the rocks or something. Can I? Yeah, no, we're, like, totally stuck. Okay, well, I don't like doing it, but needs must sometimes. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, nothing else up here. Okay, well, there we go. Kind of a boring island, but hey, it is what it is. So, nothing nothing down here at all? No, I'm always looking, guys, always looking. So, yeah, we'll just skid down here. Man, you would totally break your ankles if you fell down there, but... That's okay, we did not break our ankles. Anything- I keep thinking that uh, that is a person, but no, it's just the end of the boat. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. I want to go and check out this shipwreck, and then we're going to go to that cave uh, that we found. And there was also some ore outside that I want to loot. Uh, or mine as well, I suppose it is looting. But I, w I want to mine it specifically, rather than just looking in the ore pile, I need to mine it. Okay, and then, yeah, I guess we'll just make our way back. I think we'll probably veer back towards the sun coast a bit. Uh, kind of clear up that, and then we'll head more towards Ark, and hopefully that will yeah, be efficient. Okay, we've got a skeleton. <laughs> Already, oh, I thought he was actually pointing his bow at us. He's not, but the point is, there are some skeletons over here. So, hi, buddy. Let's just, um, let's just, I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to eat the ice claws, actually. And then I'm just going to be, well, <sighs> What do you call it? Like, pre prepared or something? I'm just gonna eat some grilled leeks. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what the word is um, that I'm thinking of, but hey, anyway, the point is, we're, we're gonna, like, forthcoming? No, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, screw you guys. Man, yeah, that, um, that, that attacking speed definitely has increased. Galleon wreck discovered. Cool, okay, you have skin. Uh, or some flesh, anyway. Come on. Attack. Attack. Perfect, there we go. And now, screw you. Screw you. There we go. <laughs> Bad. I hate it when it just doesn't attack sometimes. It just ignores me, which is so annoying, and it always gets killed half the time. We go, oh, look at that, just a shield that we can't pick up. <coughs> Whoa! What the hell? What? Oh, okay, where the hell did you come from? You come from the other side. I don't, or maybe you dropped down. I don't know, I didn't think they could do that, but anyway, there's more up here who I wanted to get rid of. <coughs> okay, yeah, man, that attacking speed is amazing, but we are very low on health here, so. Are we good? Is that the level up? No? I don't know, that, that sound just goes off sometimes and it, it confuses me because I think we're leveling up but we're not. But thankfully we prepared with the grilled leeks so we are healing, although I think they've actually worn off. So let's just let's eat a pumpkin as well. <laughs> totally normal time to do that. Anything? Oh, some scrolls. Scroll of soul trap. Scroll of boon cheap. And just a, a chest, a small chest with scrolls in it. And some coins. Hell yeah. We're actually finding a semi-decent amount of coins in chests now. So yeah, I guess it's a bit more like a... Well, no, I suppose it's just like Skyrim in general, where, you know, the, the higher the level you get, you know, the more the more valuable loot you find. That's very much a thing in um, uh, Oblivion. That's a big thing. Small backpack. Oak bow of frost breath. Nice. We've got some de decent stuff to disenchant when we get back home. Steel ingot. Quicksilver ingot. A jewelry box. Ring of tactfulness. Lock picking is 10% easier. That's nice. We can just straight up sell that because we... Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Oh, my God. That's so cute and also really sad. I guess it was there uh, some like a child on this ship, or is it just the captain's teddy bear? No shame in that, you know. We got well, we got anything down here? The prudent boy in the righteous path. Okay, well it's worth twenty, so we'll take it. I don't want the toolbox though. You can keep the silver bowl as well. Oh my god, look another teddy bear. What the hell? Is this like a whole thing? <laughs> were, were, were the crew known as like the teddy bears or something? Well, ooh, a massive chest back here. See, this is why you've always got to check, guys. You see, Skyrim, Skyrim never puts chests back here. They should. But Enderal does, apparently. So there you go. You've always got to, always got to double check. Now, can we just open up this chest, please? Thank you. 
Yeah, you need to be careful with our lockpicks. Oh, look at that, more lockpicks. We've got a whole load of spell tomes. The only one we don't know is Chaos Nova rank 2. Yeah, that's interesting, because we definitely know Chaos Nova, but there are actually ranks and spells, which is interesting. But yeah, we'll take them all, because we can sell them. And also some arrows, which I really shouldn't bother to take the arrows. I really want to take the teddy bear, that's so sad. I don't want to leave them alone. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's really no point to take the arrows, because they're, they're not worth anything, and we're not using archery at all so yeah but at the same time they also don't weigh anything so it's eh it's not a big deal if we do take them but i don't know we probably shouldn't but whatever okay can i get in here anything interesting in here i don't really think so anything around the sides at all she's got some more skeletons hung up isn't, isn't that delightful <laughs> did the teddy bear belong to one of you guys i'm so sorry <laughs> we got oh we do indeed have some iron ore back here i was gonna say this looks like a place that there could be iron ore and i was right wasn't i and yeah, we need to get all the ore that we can because we are going to have to make our own stuff and also buff it up. Although we probably won't make iron stuff, it'll be other, like better stuff. Although I don't know what the most powerful like armor type and stuff is in Enderal because... Ooh, another ice claw. Of course in Skyrim it's, you know, like Daedric or Dragon, but that's not a thing in, in Enderal. So I'm not sure exactly what we're aiming for. Uh, ooh, there are some faces. So, so, some rock faces in the uh, some rock faces in the rock face. Eh? <laughs> I think I'm real clever for that. Is that? Yeah. Okay. We haven't been over there. What on earth? That must be a a, a thing, right? Is that either something up there, some sort of like you know big fence? There must be some kind of gimmick to it. I don't know. We've got another mud crab here. Screw you. Okay. Man, I really want to check that out. And it, but yeah, you know what? Yeah, no. Let's go back and we'll look at the cave because I don't want to forget about that. Because <laughs> it's already been activated on the map, so I don't want to forget about it. Um, and then we'll go over there in the next episode, probably. I kind of, I also want to see if we can get the, um, yeah, do, do the strange place scroll. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's search this cave first and hopefully it won't be too big. What is this ore? Silver ore? Uh, I'll mine the silver ore after the episode because we'll come out here, so that's fine. Okay, into the sea chasm which I always used to think was pronounced chasm, but no, it is chasm. Uh, if you didn't know, an empty skeleton and a bear trap, which we will activate. It is, whoa, okay. A cave troll that just, yeah, man. I was about to get a torch out, but no, that guy just came careening around the corner. I wonder, was that scripted? I don't know. Anyway, let's actually get a torch out now so that we can see what we're doing. Clearly these guys were not prepared for a troll uh, and I don't blame them because is anyone ever really prepared for a troll? I don't think so. Okay, oh man, it's going to be another one of those underwater caves. Oh, man, I mean, that's really cool, but at the same time, it kind of stresses me out. Oh, oh no, a donkey. Oh, whirlwind. <laughs> I'm so sorry, your your, uh, your your brother is has not made it. Okay, I need to like hockey these things, but hey, another cave troll. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hell yeah, uh. these guys, yeah, these guys do not stand a chance. It's so good to actually be able to do some damage. <laughs> Feels so good, because yeah, man, we were not doing any damage before. Okay, yeah, looks like this is going to be just a little side thing. So let's open up the chest. We have learning book block. Eh, not really useful, but whatever. Leather curus, steel battle axe. Yeah, I'll take that skeleton. With so oh yeah, I'll take the feathers. Ah, uh, we have a, a dead miner. Well, yeah, I can see that they're dead. Coins. Okay, oh yeah, potato and tomato. We'll take that as well. And ooh, magic imbued robe. Although that's actually not that cool, because it's not really worth anything either. Uh, some ingots and a scroll, or just a ingot, an ingot is the correct way to say it. And yeah, it looks like there's everything down here. So the only thing we have left to do now is go down here, which I'm not particularly looking forward to. <laughs> I do not like swimming underwater like this. It stresses me out. Um, yeah, okay. But listen, it's got to be done. So we will do it. Also, uh, obviously the torch doesn't work underwater, but I also means I can't see still. So <laughs> that's not very... Oh, okay. It's actually not... Yeah, I thought that was going to be a whole like underwater section, but no, it's just... Just, just a small section, so that's okay. Okay, any more trolls? Surely more- Oh! Well, that's a magical symbol. It's exactly what I want to see. Hell yeah, I'll be taking that. Any any more trolls? You know, I've got a big bad troll. We've got a coin purse and an apothecary satchel, which I'll take the stuff. We've got a- Excuse me. Can I- Can I, can I take this tome? There we go. Spell tome firebolt. <laughs> a skeleton with an iron sword. I don't want that. Is there anywhere? Oh, hi! Whoa! Okay, a king crab. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, what the hell is this? And how did I not see it coming in? But no, of course, the crabs, because they sink into the floor to live, they hide in the floor. Excuse me, sir, sir. 
<laughs> Please don't back up. I have something to talk to you about. Thank you. And it's your death. That's that's what I had to talk to you about. Okay. Uh, now that we're done with you, we'll get the torch back out so that I can uh, loot your home for everything it has. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, listen, mud crabs, they, they don't need this stuff anyway. I don't know they're not mud crabs, but uh, listen, it's a hard stuck habit. It's going to be very hard to break, okay? So just... Yeah, just deal with it. I know some people are going to get upset that I keep calling them Skyrim names, but we all know it's a mud crab, okay? We've got some iron ore here, which we will mine. And yeah, I think we are pretty much going to leave this episode here. I think at the start of the next episode, or should we just do it now? Should we do the scroll? See, I don't know how long the scroll thing is going to be. Uh, you know, that scroll that we found in the crypt. I don't know if that's going to be particularly long or not. I mean, it sounds like it's just going to be like a one room kind of thing. Like with treasure and met well, probably some enemies as well who are going to try and smack us in the face because <laughs> we're not supposed to be there. It said they put up like wards and everything. I just don't want it to be like a, an extra big dungeon that we have to do a whole lot of stuff for. So yeah, I think we're going to leave that to the next episode. So for now, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Like it if you have. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.